Hi there, Sandra, here with the Mortgage Center. The Bank of Canada made a rate announcement this week and I actually attended the press conference. Um, I've included a link uh, to this message uh, just in case you wanted to hear the whole press conference, but here's a real quick synopsis for you and also the impact on mortgage rates and kind of what we're gonna see with the housing market in 2023. Good news is the Bank of Canada increased its overnight lending rate by only a quarter of a percent. And, you know, we've been used to like half a percent increases, 0.75% increases, but uh, a quarter percent is actually positive because the Bank of Canada is seeing, um, is, is thinking that there is a turning where inflation now is turning a corner. And so some of the increases that they made in the overnight lending rate or the policy rate in 2022 are now just starting to take effect. And, and that was intentional. So when the Bank of Canada increases uh, the overnight lending rate, it makes it harder to borrow. People pull back on their spending habits and um, that cools prices. So it's all uh, coming into fruition. And, and that's a good thing because if uh, inflation is long-term and persistent, that's a problem for everybody. Um, the the what we're thinking to is that the housing market is uh, maybe the downturn in the housing market is much milder than expected. Just remember the last two years, the rates were unusually low, and prices were unusually high, and increases in home values. You know that that was unsustainable. So. What we're going to see is um, probably rates hold steady, possibly another increase, but depending on what happens with inflation and the cost of fuel and some of the other uncertainties that are happening around the globe, we may actually see some uh, rate um, relief later this year or into 2018. Now, um, what does that mean for housing? Well, for those of you in housing and real estate and mortgages, um, for those of you who are buying your first house, we are encouraging our first time home buyers to relock in their interest rates. So the unusual thing is that although variable rates are going up because of the change in the overnight lending rate, we're actually starting to see some a downward pressure on fixed rate mortgages. And that's because in Canada, fixed rates are based off of the bond market, the five year bond yields. And the bond market is a um, leading indicator and, and it's a look forward to what's going to happen with inflation. So if uh, businesses and the government is expecting inflation to come down, that's affecting the bond market. And in fact, that's having a positive impact on fixed rate mortgages, especially five-year fixed rate mortgages. So if you're a first-time home buyer, we're at a lull right now with home values. Home values are very soft. You might actually be able to pick up a detached house, maybe even a nice townhouse in this area or a condo uh, at a decent price. And the interest rates are very good right now. For those of you who have variable rate mortgages, I mean, I have a variable rate mortgage on my house. I am hanging in there. But if you have a variable rate mortgage and you have a line of credit that you're not paying off each month and then you've got lots of credit card bills, maybe consolidating those into your mortgage and choosing a fixed rate is a good time right now. <laughs> because as I said, fixed rates are unusually low. And so that's really the message for you today. Um, we love helping people. If your mortgage is coming up for renewal this year, please contact us early. Uh, it doesn't matter if we had not originally done that mortgage. I've had a lot of clients who own multiple properties and said, oh, you know, you helped us with one mortgage, but my RBC mortgage is coming up or my TD mortgage is coming up. And I'd like you to have a look at that. Please uh, schedule an appointment with me and we'd love to help you. Guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in. You know, we're always here to help.